I know that not, not conforming to the culture will cost you something. This is the biggest problem is that you lose something if you refuse to conform to the culture. But watch this, if you do conform you lose everything. If you don't conform you lose something. If you do conform you lose everything. Samuel lost his childhood. He didn't spend it with kids. You know what he played with? Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> How was your childhood? Well, I memorized every closet in the temple. How was your childhood? I learned about showbread and the candlelight sticks. How was your childhood? Oh, I read book of Leviticus. He had no childhood. He lost his childhood. But he had his destiny. Sons of Eli had a fun life which was cut short and they not only disappointed God. The Bible says, I think the only instance in the scripture what I could remember where God spoke of his people that he wanted to kill him and that was the sons of Eli. You will lose either everything or something. You just decide what you want to lose. You will pay now and play later or you will play now and pay later but you will pay. You will either live with the pain of discipline or with the pain of regret but there will be a pain and the best pain is the one you can control. The best pain is the one you can choose not the one that's inflicted on you. The best pain is when you hold your horses, when you hold your purity. The best pain is when you control yourself. The best pain is when you hold your virginity. The other pain is when HIV hits you and that you can't stop. The other pain is when you go from broken relationship to a broken relationship and that you can't control and that doesn't stop and that keeps hurting you and hurting you. The best pain is the one you control and choose and that's the pain of picking up the cross following Christ, denying yourself and following him where he goes. Can somebody say amen? I know some of you came here today and you, you were hoping I'm gonna pat you on the back. Before we get to that part, we need to remind you. Many of us are, have come too many times to the cross but God is calling you to get on it and die on that cross. To your interests, to your desires, be separated because God cannot bless a mess. God can only bless someone. God can only use someone who will be separated to him in this day and in this hour. And Samuel first, he was pure from the pollution of his surrounding. He was separated from his surrounding. He didn't change it. He refused to be changed by it. And then God gave him the authority to clean up the temple. God will give you the authority to change that toxic environment. Your family will be different. Your business will be different. The way you will rule and reign in your that environment in the future will be different. Why? Because you were not corrupted in your testing period.